one to two words to describing how I felt when we were coming back to Ohio. Crap, why do we have to go here? The first feelings was a little bit of disappointment. It was a little challenging in one respect because I had just done a year away from my family, a little over a year. And part of that deal is that you're expecting to get to go to a really neat location. And there's nothing wrong with Ohio, but you're thinking, hey, let's go to Japan or to Europe or somewhere that's a, a little bit different. I've always hoped to move to Hawaii. For me, it would have been Alaska. We had hoped to be stationed in Germany. It was a place that first world country had good health care that we were hoping would be able to provide for our daughter as we went and then be able to explore Europe over a couple of years. We don't know all the factors that went into why Germany didn't work out, but in the end it did work out best for our family. We are the Manning family. No, no, no. Home Aww. is wherever Aww. we are Aww. together. Aww. Say, let's go. Hi, dude. Come on. And say hi, Dad. Hi, sweet thing. I'm Jennifer Manning, and I live in Beaver Creek, Ohio. My family is um, myself and my husband. We've been married for 18 years. And then we have our son, um, who's 15. His name is Caleb, and our daughter, Arabella, who is seven, and also has Down syndrome. I met Brian when I was 23 years old. I had just graduated um, from college and had started my first teaching position in Rapid City, South Dakota, and we were introduced at church. About a week or so after that, we went on our first date. And then two weeks later, we were engaged. And then three months later, we were married. Uh, my name is Bryden Manning. I'm a public health officer in the United States Air Force. So in the military, we've, we've lived in a lot of places. And we started off our military journey in Texas. So I was in a little town called Abilene there. And from Abilene, we went to Columbus, Mississippi. And then from there, the U.S. government asked me to go to Korea unaccompanied. So I had to leave my family in the United States. And I went to Kunsan Air Base in South Korea. Then we actually reunified here in Ohio. I, I got off the, the airplane here at the Dayton Airport and had my wife and children there picking me up as, as we got to come in. And Jen had bought a house and I moved in the next day. So we've been here almost five years. Ohio was kind of an unknown. I really didn't know that much about Ohio or what it would be like to be here. It has been amazing for our children in particular. There are so many resources for both of our children. Um, we have a, a son who is very active and very involved in the high schools and, and athletics, and there's tons of programs for him. Hey, buddy. We're gonna go get your sister, and then I'll go take you to swim, okay? Hi, I'm Caleb Manning, and I am 15 years old. I started swimming when I was seven years old. Something about just being able to be in water, it's kind of always been my happy place. The, the first thing I feel when I dive in that water is the really big rush of adrenaline. All of a sudden I can just feel my heart racing and then it's like, all right, I have to, I have to do this. One way or another, I'm gonna finish this race. He is so good at achieving every goal that he ever sets. Swimming has given a lot to me, at least in my life right now. It's kind of given me a personality. He's just such a, a good kid and has such a good heart. He's always looking out for people. He's a superhuman, I think, so. When Arabella was first born, they came to us and said, we suspect that there's a chance that your child may have Down syndrome. And even told us that the nurses and everyone were about 50-50. So eventually they did come to us and let us know the results of the test that she did officially have Down syndrome and, and that um, we had a new, a new life to prepare for. When we talked to Kayla, we, we talked about it and said, your sister has Down syndrome. And it's like, we're gonna have to help Arabella learn how to walk and talk, and it's just gonna take more time. And he got the biggest grin on his face, and he says, Mom, you're a teacher, we got this. And he was so excited for the journey, and he was the first person who helped me let go of the fear, because he was the first person to say, Mom, it's okay, we, we've got this, and we're gonna be fine. 
when Arabella was first born, we had not realized that she had such a, a problem with her heart. But she was very sickly and um, really struggled to meet any milestone, sitting up on her own, crawling, and any sickness she got, she was very sick. And so for a long time, we actually prepared ourselves to um, maybe have to let her go at some point that she was not going to make it. Since we lived in Ohio, Arabella's had four surgeries. And luckily, because we are Air Force, we could take the chance on an experimental surgery, especially soon after one other surgery. They removed her tonsils and adenoids, fixed the back of her throat. Then we went in and started working with Dayton Children's Orthopedics, and they evaluated her and realized that we needed to do some pretty major reconstructive surgery on both knees. They did one knee, a full cast, an eight-week recovery, physical therapy, and then did the other knee and repeated the process again. Arabella is the toughest person I know. She is goofy and exceptionally energetic. It is so hard sometimes to have to go along with the flow, but I've gotten pretty used to it, and it makes me happy to see other people happy. Sometimes in our world, it feels like you take one step forward and then sometimes two steps back, depending on what we get thrown and what challenges our kids get thrown. We've learned a lot of flexibility and a lot of resiliency, and you learn just a lot of love and a lot of amazing things from her. Thank you. I love your Do you want to sit down by Custy? Yeah. In the world of being a special needs parent, there's always the worry that you have one kid that takes up a lot more effort than another. I think I get off a little easy because I have two exceptional children, but. I do think that one of the things that we've really tried to do is make sure that each child gets individualized attention from, from each person. The big brother role for Caleb is something that I think primarily is one of compassion, that he looks at her as a whole person. All of her frailties, whether it was her heart surgery or her lack of being as verbal as other kids, he sees a whole her. And then as he works with other people around her, he works very hard to help them see her as a whole person as well. Recently, we received a service dog through Four Paws for Ability to help our daughter. Our son was looking for some service opportunities in the area. He loves animals. He wanted to work with animals. And so we talked to her doctors, and one of the doctors there on base suggested that, yeah, this would be a really good move for us. <coughs> And so we filled out the paperwork and we had to fundraise $17,000 to get custard. And thanks to our great military community and family, we were able to raise that money in a month. Just this last month, we got to meet custard um, and it has been life changing even in the few short weeks that we've had him. Arabella is tethered to him. So she has a, a little bungee rope that she um, wears around her waist and then is tied to custard so that she can't run away. And she's actually able to walk in stores, which we've never been able to do safely and walk through parking lots. And then also just the behavior, some of her anxiety and behaviors get, she gets very overwhelmed by situations. And so she'll just go lay on custard and he'll help her calm down. And is just that, that calming component to just help her kind of deal with new situations that are overwhelming. We do a, a number of things uh, with Custard at night. So she runs away and he helps us go track her down. And then as we get ready to go to bed, we take Arabella upstairs and she does her nighttime routine of what you would think of, you know, brushing your teeth and going potty and all those things. And so Custard does all those things right with her. He gets his teeth brushed and it's been just such a, a stress relief. Good night stars and good night air. My perspective since we've been here has changed drastically. I find it a huge blessing that we were able to move here. Good night noises everywhere. I think this is where we were meant to be.
Thank you. Thank you so very much to our men and women who are currently answering and have answered the call to serve. And thank you to your families. Ohio stands ready to support you. And we couldn't ask for a better support from communities around the Air Force, and we appreciate Ohio pushing to be number one.